I would just kill Elite in eight seconds. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna showcase the petting. Well, we only have 10,000 materials. 21,000 materials, baby. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today we're gonna to be doing a full D5 run through and showcase breaking the Saber character. Are you like me? Are you behind on your credit card payments? Are you underwater on your mortgage? Are your car payments catching up to you? Do you live in an apartment that's too expensive? If so, not only can we go ahead and demolish potato, but we can practice good financial habits at the same time by playing the saver character. Um, went ahead and took care of that first wave uh, pretty efficiently. Happy with a little melee damage, which I do think is good on this character. Don't mind a couple rerolls uh, here early, looking for a better spear. Now, in all seriousness, the saver is a relatively strong snowball-y character, but I think one of the more intimidating ones, as well as one that I think many players will end up struggling with and, and do struggle with based on comments I've seen on the subreddit as well as you know various messaging boards like the Steam community. Um, the Saber is not an immediately intuitive character because you have to play the Saber a lot differently than you do other characters. And frankly, it really requires a lot of restraint uh, compared to uh, some of the other characters you might play uh, as you really uh, need to be very, and I mean very judicious about what you buy. Um, the Saber's key mechanic are two things. One, that uh, you get 1% more damage for every 25 materials you have, or easily 4% for every 100, or 40 for every 1,000. In addition, you start with the piggy bank, which means you get 20% more materials every time you start a wave. So if you don't spend money, you end up getting a really, really nice 20% compounding interest. Uh, you start off with a little uh, 15 harvesting in order to get things rolling, but you have a really steep penalty, and the items are 50% more expensive which is a really, really stiff penalty in this game. Um, so all that in mind, I think it sort of, you know, it sort of hints at how this character is meant to be played, which is by spending the least amount of money as you possibly can in order to scale up the 20% interest you get from that piggy bank. Now, 1% damage for every 25 materials doesn't seem like a lot. Like that's only 4% damage for every 100 materials. And like 100 materials, I mean, it's a couple items, right? Like that's uh, money we wanna be spending. Um, but what makes this character so, so strong is when you start getting like 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 10,000, 15,000 materials, and you just have like five, six, 700% damage and you're critting for like 1,200. That's when this character really, really does take off. But getting there, you know, is a challenge. Uh, we're gonna talk through all the tricks that I know in order to uh, go ahead and get there, as well as a couple like breakpoints you should be looking for. I will go ahead and afford a reroll there and we'll take a little bit of harvesting. Uh, I do like a spear. Uh, and again, since we're only on 1.5, I don't mind spending a little bit of money, although I will be uh, clamping down on the purse strings uh, pretty hard here. Um, I really like spears on this character. I think uh, range can be pretty good. You know, if you play this character range, especially if you can roll in some like SMGs, uh, that's pretty, pretty strong. Um, I also think that if you really want to do like the most busted build, like going with uh, thief daggers early in order to, to scale as fast as possible with the extra money you get from those, it is also effective, although that's a lot harder to pull off. I might showcase that uh, at a later date. I do think the most consistent uh, way to win with Saber is by using the spears. Uh, spears are a really strong melee weapon. They have really good one-on-one -one melee scaling, a two times crit modifier. Most importantly, a really good base damage that scales super, super well with all the percent damage uh, that we're going to be hunting for on this character. And we'll go ahead and take 15% attack speed. And again, I usually afford myself uh, one reroll wave uh, looking for some of the rarer items on this character. Obviously, the holy grail of items on this character, the one that we really, really want to find is padding. Uh, padding gives you extra HP for all the materials that you have, which obviously scales super, super well if we're trying to snowball our materials. So padding is like the holy grail item uh, that we want on this character. Basically, it makes it so you don't have to invest in defense at all, uh, and you can save all that money, give even more interest. Uh, the other items I think are really, really strong are community support. You know, community support is such like an efficient item giving you so many stats for one item that I do think that's really, really powerful in this character. And I also think Rip and Tear is really, really strong. You know, Saber tends to do really, really well against elites, although Saber can struggle, uh, can struggle against Horde Waves. Uh, so I do think like a Rip and Tear, which really helps Saber's biggest weakness, is really, really good. Uh, those are three items I really think we should be keeping eye out for. Uh, we'll go to Recycling Incendiary Turret and the book, and we'll take just a touch more harvesting. And again, I think crit chance is very, very good on this character, although I do like a little bit of speed. Uh, I don't think the Claw Tree is good enough to spend money on but again even though um you know we want to save as much money as possible uh there's a couple items that are just so so powerful in this character that just bust the run open so i do think uh paying the first reroll uh 
sort of price, which is usually pretty uh, affordable, is worth it just so you can increase your chances of seeing one of those true uh, like run defining items, which are very much present on this character. Um, that said, aside from that, we're really gonna do everything we can to save as much money as we possibly can. Again, just so we can get that interest scaling. Um, we really wanna be at the point where we're getting thousands, and I mean thousands, of materials uh, every single uh, wave. Um, I, w I typically think you should be between like 4,000 the low end, but preferably like 6,000, 8,000, 10,000 materials by the time you fight those bosses. If you can do that, you will absolutely stop them. Uh, don't like a free alien worm, and not gonna turn away some, uh, some free luck. Uh, and we'll go ahead and take uh, a little bit of crit chance. I do think crit is quite good on this character. Uh, somewhat tempted for the gentle alien going into wave nine, but we're gonna go ahead and hold off. Uh, and we'll go ahead and save that spear uh, for the wave nine, because I think we'll be just fine here on this wave. In terms of ballparks that you want to look for, I generally uh, recommend that you aim for uh, about a thousand materials by the time you finish wave nine. So by the time we're starting wave 10, if you have about a thousand materials, you're in the right spot and you're probably uh, scaling appropriately. Um, you typically get about 450 to 500 materials from wave nine, which means that uh, if you're heading into wave nine with, um, you know, with again, 550 materials, you're usually in a relatively good spot as I play really aggressively to go ahead and get that crate. Um, I'm trying to play a little more aggressively just to really break this run open and show you what this character is capable of. So I'm playing like super, super greedy here, uh, buying the absolute bare minimum I can to survive. So you don't have to play quite as greedy as I am. Just trying to be at a thousand materials by the time you finish wave nine and are starting uh, wave 10 to really get that scaling going. Um, I don't think gambling token is worth it at this juncture and I will take a little bit of luck and we'll go ahead uh, and save that spear actually uh, for the end of this wave. Because again, I want to get my materials as high as possible as fast as I can. And I think uh, with these weaker enemies, we don't necessarily need um, need that spear just yet, although I will upgrade after this. Again, I'm trying to buy the fewest items I possibly can so we can scale that interest as high as we can, as fast as we can. Uh, and after this wave, we're gonna be at well over 2000, uh, really on our way to scaling to just absolutely epic, uh, epic proportions. But again, really hoping for one of those uh, one of those kind of crazy, uh, crazy items. Um, again, you know, wave nine, the spears tend to handle this wave relatively well. So we are relatively weak. Uh, so after this wave, I will potentially invest in some defense or maybe a little more offense, depending on what items I'm offered. But I will go ahead and upgrade that spear. But again, we're saving baby, right? Like we want to spend, newest Xbox is out. Hey, I heard the PS5 just dropped, like I need that. But we're like, no, we're going to be financially prudent. We're just going to save baby. We're saving and we're uh, making good money um, and we're letting our interest grow, right? So we're feeling pretty good about things. Although I will try to pick up a little bit of this money here at the end of the run. So. Um, end of the wave so I can have that calculated my interest uh, next time. Um, I don't think we need to increase our spear range. I will take a claw tree for free and our speed is pretty lackluster so I'm happy to see that. I do like a little bit of max HP uh, there. So we'll go ahead and buy a spear and again we'll do one reroll. Uh, see another spear. We do have a wave 12 elite uh, so I will pick that up. You know, I used to think the Cyclops worm was pretty good on this character. Uh, however, I realized you end up getting like so much percent damage uh, as it is. They don't really like need more. So items that give you percent damage on this character, I don't think are as good as they are in others. Just because if we build this character right, we're legitimately going to be at, like five, six hundred percent damage uh, by the end of this run. So you get plenty of percent damage. Uh, you're better focusing on stuff like melee if you're playing spears or range if you're playing range, uh, just because that does uh, help that percent damage. You know, percent damage and uh, melee or range damage really do play well together. You know, one begets the other. So I think that's better off where you're uh, spending your money if we're really splitting hairs on a character like this versus, as I completely whiff my dodges, uh, versus something like a, uh, uh, you know, Cyclops Orm, which is normally one of my favorite items. I mean, I normally love that item, um, but not so much on this character. Um, so again, playing a little aggressively there. Uh, probably, uh, I missed a couple of easy bruiser dodges as I was talking, um, but again, uh, I think we'll be all right now that we're back on our, uh, back on our feet here. Uh, as we'll move on to uh, the next wave. Uh, let's see here. Uh, free and Sandy, happy to take that. I mean, let's get our crit chance up and afford damage. I do think a little armor is quite good. Um, yeah, we'll take some more attack speed. And we really like that melee damage. Really just helping us. Um, really, really helping us uh, get that uh, percent damage. Uh, and making that even more efficient. And I will go ahead and buy an early wisdom there. Or sorry, early mastery. Uh, even though I hate spending that money. But again, we've got a wave 11 elite. 
Um, so I do want, or wave 12 late part of me coming up. So I want to be in sort of good shape there with enough HP, enough health uh, to take them out. But I do feel pretty good. You know, again, with that melee damage, uh, you can see that you know, we're now critting for almost 200, uh, which is pretty good for this point in the game. I mean, by the time we get to the bosses, we're just going to be critting for like a thousand. It's going to be awesome. Um, but again, we really want this percent damage to scale off of all that um, lovely, lovely uh, interest that we're getting. You know, by the time we're at 4,000, uh, you know, we're getting 800 uh, extra materials per wave. Uh, by the time we hit 5,000, we're getting 1,000 extra materials per wave. And we're going to be at that 5,000 in like two waves. So it's not that far off. Uh, that said, you can see we are still relatively frail because we haven't bought many defensive items. So again, just playing these spears very defensively, uh, taking our time, not overextending ourselves, letting the range of the spears kind of do the work. And again, also understand that I'm playing hyper aggressively here. You can afford to buy a few more items. Um, but like I said, I'm really just trying to break this thing open. Uh, just to show, like, it's pretty cool when you see this character really pop off. A uh, free little muscly dude, really, really like it. A uh, wolf helmet, that's essentially just 15 luck, but I do think luck is decent in this character. I'll toss one reroll here. Really love melee damage. That's really going to help that percent damage. Uh, really just blow up here. Uh, really do like your community support. That's one of the all-star items uh, on this character. And I will go ahead and take a metal plate to get the armor up. Uh, I hate spending that money. You can see I spent down a lot of my money there. That said, I think it's worth it because with the community support as well uh, as getting our armor back up to two, I think we'll be able to handle this elite relatively well. And once we handle this elite, it's only going to become easier from here as we continue to scale. Um, so again, you need to make those decisions. You know, you really want to be uh, as judicious as you can about spending your money, but there will be waves that you have to spend it, right? And like right there, I saw a community support, which is a really powerful item. Uh, and I saw... Uh, some armor, which I think was really going to help our survivability, although I don't think we actually got hit by the boss. Um, but I wanted to be prepared if we did, uh, and to knowing that we're going to take that negative damage, um, negative armor from the community support. Like, I was like, okay, those two items I think are worth it. It'll help me kill this elite, uh, help me keep getting through the waves. So I did elect to spend some money there. But again, you really want to be thinking about, is that the right decision? Is it not? You know, you don't want to just be clicking buy. I mean, buying is fun in this game. And I think that's why people initially struggle with this character, right? Is because you're like, I like buying new items, right? Like, I like getting more powerful. I do too. And this character really uh, runs contradictory uh, to that, which is why I think uh, it's one of the harder characters for a lot of folks. Hey, really, really, really like a, a mammoth, even though I hate losing that speed. Um, and so because of that, even though I do like luck on this character, I will take uh, speed here. Toss a free reroll. Our, our sort of less expensive reroll, and uh, since we're uh, we have an elite wave 14, I'll go ahead and save that mastery. But you can see, boom, that melee damage really helping our crits just get so so high. We're already critting for 402. I mean, that'd be good at the end of the game, uh, truthfully. Um, so our offense is a little little. Uh, our, uh, our offense is where it needs to be. Like our offense is super super strong. That said, our defense, you know, is a little uh, little lackluster. You know, we got two armor and 57 HP and two life steal. Uh, and no cute monkeys or anything. So we're really sort of, uh, you know, we're, we're playing very, very greedy here. But again, really just trying to get that interest as high as possible. You know, we've kind of crossed that magical uh, 1,000 uh, mark, which is really, really good, um, simply because now we're meeting over 1,000 materials every wave, which we'll just keep on scaling with all that lovely, lovely compound uh, interest. So I would not mind a little bit more defense, but uh, I think our offense is, is right where right where we need to be. Um, so feeling pretty, pretty good about it. Uh, pretty good about that but again hoping hold now for one of those holy grail items really hope we see a padding but even if we don't get a padding i think uh that item is so so good but it's a bit of a crutch on this character i think a lot of people think like if you don't get a padding you can't win well it is very much possible to have a really fun strong run without it i hate losing luck but this is just so much survivability and it's free i'll be happy to take that um go ahead and take a little luck again i, I do like luck on this character because items are so expensive Right, items are so expensive on this character. Um, I I do not mind, uh, you know, uh, a little luck, right? Like luck is good um, because we want to get our items for free uh, as, as many times as we can. Just because items are comparatively more expensive, but you can just see. I mean, we're going to get way way stronger than this as like the interest starts to really take its toll. And we've got four blue weapons and two common. Like we don't even have good weapons, and we're absolutely dumpstering this elite. We just took them out super super easily. Uh, so just showing you like. This, the interest is starting to work, right? Like it's starting to pile up. We're at 252% damage uh, and our compound interest, oh boy, our compound interest is about to start uh, really, really scaling. Um, you can get this interest really, really high. Uh, that said, I do think waves 14 to 17 are kind of the danger zone for this character. Um, so I may have wanted to buy that uh, extra armor um, just because the projectiles can be pretty, pretty tough to dodge um, on waves 14 to 17. But I think we'll be all right, uh, be all right here. So uh, feeling pretty good about where this wave is headed as we absolutely just dumpstered 
that elite. And again, this character is gonna get way, way stronger from here, baby. Compound interest. So we got a while to go in terms of our strength, but the fact we're already uh, doing so well just really shows uh, how well we are doing. Heavy bullets not going range, so we'll take the extra materials. I am somewhat tempted by a peacock, uh, but I will uh, upgrade a couple spears. Again, I hate spending money. Um, and... Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and pass on the peacock, and we'll just just go off the race. I just don't think the, the money spent is worth it. And we just bought a couple other items there, but you can see now we're creating for 700. You know, which is the nice thing about upgrading the spears, uh, getting that base damage up a little more. Uh, really doing good. Really doing a good job uh, there. Uh, but again, we're a little, little frail, so I would really like to see a padding or just something that gives us a little bit more defense. Um, you know, our armor is four, which is okay. Speed is 13, which is pretty bad. But uh, you know, once we start getting to like 8,000, like then we're getting 1,600 materials every wave, which is pretty, pretty nuts. Uh, but again, really only taking the absolute bare necessities, right? Because like, you know, we're, we're living in an affordable apartment. You know, we're not in a bad part of town, but it, it's not nice, right? Like we got our Toyota Camry, you know, we're going to the store, we're buying like uh, store brands, great value, right? Like we're, we're buying the store brand. We're eating out every now and again, but we're not going crazy. Like we're getting one alcoholic drink. We're not, not getting a lot, right? Because we're watching the bill. You know, we're living very frugally. You know, we're saving, right? And we're putting our money in the index funds. We're investing, we're getting more, and we're starting to see the returns uh, of all that frugal, good living here. Uh, don't mind getting that Dodge started. I think that's pretty good. And again, I'll toss a reroll. Um, I'll toss one more. Again, looking for one of those amazing items. I uh, do not see it. So we'll go ahead and go in the wave 17. Uh, again, power generator, normally one of my favorite items, but again, I just don't think it's as good here simply because one, we don't even have good speed. But if, if you do have good speed, it's like the last thing you need on this character. Again, we're already at 10,000 materials in wave 16. Like the last thing you need in this character is more percent damage, right? We got a lot of percent damage, right? We don't, we don't need uh, a whole lot more percent damage. Uh, so we really want to spend our money, I think, on more efficient items uh, that help us get more out of our percent damage, uh, that help us survive so we can take advantage of our percent damage. Um, so I, again, I think that's where uh, where we want to be. But I'm feeling pretty good about this run. You know, we're just, we're stomping, baby. Um, and again, showing that you can have a good successful run, uh, get far, deal good damage without necessarily relying on padding, which I think is, is well, one of the strongest items. Like, I think that's the crutch. Um, Rightfully so. I mean, like, it's a fun item. I, I hope we can showcase it. But if not, I think it's good to show, like, how we can do this without padding uh, as we sort of uh, are, are sort of taking things over here. As you can see, it's like every wave we start, our crits do, like, 100% more damage at this point. Or, sorry, 100 more damage at this point uh, with all the scaling sort of coming together. Uh, don't really want a banner, even if it's free. And we'll take a little armor uh, here. Uh, again, we'll toss one reroll. All right, I guess we're going to showcase the padding. I guess we're going to showcase the padding. Uh, we got the padding. Uh, so again, three max HP for every 100 mils materials we have. Well, we only have 10,000 materials, uh, so that's only 105 HP. Uh, that's going to make things a little easier, you think. Um, I'll go ahead and combine and spend a decent amount of money here just because we're going into a wave 17 elite. But you can see, uh, yeah, I mean, look at that. Already critting for 1,000, and we're basically going to spend no money. I would just kill an elite in eight seconds. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we got the padding and that's only one, you know, the funny thing is padding. I believe it does not actually have a cap, although uh, it, it may have at some point. So you, know, you can get a couple of them. You know, padding actually used to be even stronger. That item has been nerfed uh, a couple of patches. Like padding is not that good of an item. Um, I think it's kind of an overrated item personally, but not on this character. I mean, on this character, it's very, very good. Uh, so you can see uh, we got the padding there and we just got... <laughs> 120 HP from one item. I mean, that that's not bad. Like, that's not bad value, right? We want to spend our money wisely. Is getting 120 HP for one item wise? Uh, I think so. Um, but yeah, feeling pretty good about where this is going because again, you know, with that padding, like we don't have to worry nearly as much about our survivability. Like I would get, uh, like to get a little bit better regen for the bosses just because they do hit so, so hard. And you know, we've got five HP regen, but uh, you know, not, not absolutely necessary with that. Um, yeah, we'll take this. I mean, I think 50, eh, actually, well, we've got community support, so I'll take it. And I do think crit chance is really, really good. We'll go and get our crit chance up. Giving us a really, really powerful 52% uh, crit chance. So that's quite good. Uh, and I will go ahead and spend just a touch of money there um, to give us a little more armor, a little more dodge. So I do hope that long armor doesn't bite me in the butt, uh, or sorry, that, that range doesn't bite us in the rear end. Um, 
you know, that, you know, you, you increasing your range on spears too much can really slow down your attack speed and lower down your overall damage. Um, but with the community support, I think, I think we'll be okay. And I just think getting our crate up is so, so valuable. Um, but it, it may not have been the right decision is what I'm, what I'm saying. Like, do, do think about that. Uh, we will probably kill the boss a little bit more slowly with our, uh, with that massive range increase that we just undertook. And because we're not re-rolling, we're not buying a lot of items, we're going to have a lot less chances to get that down. Um, I were I did sense we were already in negative 15, so I thought it'd be a, a good choice just to get that crit. Um, however, it, it may not have been the right choice. I, I do think it'll make, uh, we're, look at that, we're already critting for 1264, uh, and that, again, is just going to keep skyrocketing because we're, you know, I want to be at 20,000 materials by the time we, ha we fight those bosses, right? So... <laughs> Uh, feeling pretty good about that, but uh, I, it may have been the right decision to not not take that night vision goggles, but eh, we'll see. I don't think it will affect us necessarily. Either way, don't even want the free laser turret. Uh, don't mind a little bit of life steal here. I'll toss one cursory reroll. But yeah, baby, we're, we want this interest to do work. It's already at 18,000 materials, right? Like, is that pretty good? And look at that. Our crits just increased to 15, 12. That's a high crit, my friends. I mean, that that's going to absolutely uh, demolish the bosses. Um, a little bit about me, my name is Sean, and I run a channel here called Sean's Here, which is a play on the word Sean, which is my name, and the gaming term S-Tier, which we all aspire to be. Uh, I've been doing this for about a month and got a lot of the positive feedback, and so I really appreciate all the support everyone has been showing me. Uh, goal here is just to have some fun, but really do some guide through guided uh, rotated runs that focus a little bit more on the analytics, on uh, making the right decisions, and most importantly, keeping it fun, keeping it light, having a good time. Uh, other key homework of the channel is I keep it moving quick, right? Like, that's what I like when I'm watching gameplays. Fast runs, keep it moving. Uh, talk about the important decisions, but let's just, let's go, baby. I'm here for some gameplay. Um, if you could do me a big favor and toss me a like, or even a subscribe, I would be ever so grateful. And if you even hit the trifecta and leave a positive comment, I will personally bless your next potato run. So you will get the luckiest luck that you ever lucked as you play your next potato run and get your own 1500 crits. How's that for a spiel? I hope it was good. Uh, don't mind a little wheat here. I mean, look, the day, more melee damage is more melee damage. Uh, don't need the melee detector. Uh, so a mistake a lot of people think, uh, I think a lot of people make is they think, okay, well, like I've got a ton of money, like I can spend it down here. It's actually worse to spend your money down here simply because since we have no, so much money with the way compounding interest works, uh, we get even bigger bonus by not spending our money. Uh, that said, I, I did take a uh, Cyclops worm there uh, to drop the range uh, a little bit, which I think will be good as well as upgrade a couple spears. So let's go. 21,000 materials, baby. 21,540. Look at that. Almost got the legendary 2K crits. Oh, yeah, look at that. And if I would have speared them off, I could have killed both of them quickly. Oh, my gosh. That is that is just hilarious. I mean, look at that. Tell me that's not why you play the game, right? That's why you play the game. A whopping 872% damage. 21,000 materials. Just absolutely stomping this run, uh, showing the real power of the saber. And like I said, you know, if it's Brotato and it's real life, compound interest, it's a powerful force. Make sure you pay advantage to it, or pay attention to it. Uh, anyway, really fun run. I uh, really had a lot of fun with that one. Uh, thanks for watching, and take care.